Hi, I'm Monte, and welcome to another Coke and Strippers Quickie. Got a project going on here, but I need to do a little desoldering, and I wanted to share this with you, some tips and tricks. We're gonna pull this, this is a rotary encoder. We're gonna pull this off this board. Now, this device has three pins on this side and two pins on this side. We're gonna try to pull it off this board. All right, first way we're gonna do this is with a soldering iron. We heated this up and we heat up each of these solder points and melt the solder and then just pull this thing out, right? Wrong! Because when you heat this one up, by the time you go to the next one, that one's cold and you can't pull it out. So sometimes you can sort of fake it like you heat them up and I'm, I'm pulling on this thing, wiggling it a little to the side so that each time I heat up a pin, oh, you can hear it pop sometimes. Oh, you see that? I managed to pull it out just a little ways. Um, this one's a little easier than most. Now I'm going to try to pull it back the other way while I heat the, the, the two pins on this side. There's one, there's two. Oh, hey, we're almost out. Let's see, we got maybe one more over here, kind of push and pull. One more pin. That wasn't too bad. It's a lot harder if you have a lot more pins, like maybe you've got this many. Different project. Um, you can do it. It takes work. So let's take a look at plan two. So regardless how well that seemed to go, really if you have more than six, eight pins, it's, it's really hard, virtually impossible to do that with a soldering iron. So let's assume this part is bad and we need to get it off there and we're gonna replace it with this part. So what do we do? We grab the soldering iron. No, we don't grab the soldering iron. That's the hard way to do it. By the way, if you are going to grab the soldering iron, you need to desolder de stuff. Adding a little new fresh solder often helps that. But no, we're not going to grab the soldering iron. That's too hard. We're going to throw this part away. So if you have a part that you're trying to replace and you're going to throw the old one away, do this. Take your wire clippers and clip each of these pins loose. That way, uh, when you're desoldering, you really only have to desolder one pin at a time and you can pull that one pin out instead of having to get all five of them warm or work them out slowly one after the other. Now those pins are still in there. All right, we've got all five pins, but now we can heat them up and work them out one at a time, which is much easier than trying to, uh, trying to get them all done at the same time. Those two and a half are out. What about these two? There's one. All right. Now you can take this other this other piece, solder it back in there, and you're good to go. Here's method three. So in this case, I want this part out. I want to save it, but I really don't care about this board. Remember, our trick is to try to heat all these pins up at the same time so they will come out. One way to do that is with a torch, because usually you can get enough heat to melt several of these pins at the same time. So let's heat these three up, heat up those two, Come back here. Ouch. All right, we got those three out on this side. We got two more to get on the other side. Little heat there, little heat there. There we go. So your handy dandy little bitty butane torch. Uh, I don't know, I think I got, I don't remember where I got this. I got that online somewhere. And um, don't forget, I've got the little bitty ones that I like. Okay, here's a little torch I'm looking for. You can buy these for a couple of bucks on eBay and they work just as well. One of my faves. The fourth way to do this is with one of these hot air rework stations. They're a couple hundred bucks. They're kind of cool. You turn on the hot air. This is gonna be fairly similar to the last, uh, the last way we did it, but this is gonna blow really hot air out of the tip here. We see the temperature going up 
150 to whatever. You can control how much air, a little. They come with different tips. Uh, you can control the temperature. It also comes with a soldering iron. You know, I've got a soldering iron. All right, so this is this is very much the same way uh, we did it before. Is hopefully without burning my fingers off, I'm going to uh, heat up multiple pins at a time using this hot air rework station. Once it gets hot and kind of melty, then I'll give it a smack and see if I can get them to get the part to fall out. I don't see anything melting. Let's heat this up. Uh, let's go to from three whatever to 450. Add a little more air. Oh yeah, there it goes. Three came out on the one side. The other two are sort of left in there. Come on. Come on. There we go. Jumped out. Beautiful. All right, you turn this thing off and the air still runs for a minute as it cools back down. I guess so you don't catch anything on fire. Oh, what's that pointing at? And now what you've all been waiting for, or at least what I've been waiting for, is this. This brand new desoldering gun that I bought because I spent too many years heating up things in old toaster ovens and smacking them with a hammer to try to get parts to fall out. So this is the S993A. This is the very first time that I'm using this device. Let's see. Oh, see a little smoke there. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's got a it's got a, a pad like a soldering iron. So let's wet that thing in case we need it. A little squirt from the water bottle. Um, all right. Is it hot? I don't know. The light's blinking. Let's see. Oh, let's pull the trigger. See what happens. Ha! All right. Let's try this out. What do we have going on here? There's pin one. Oh, what does that look like? Mm, I don't know. Let's try the other pins and see what happens. There's pin two. There's pin three. Here's pin four. And here is pin five. Oh. No, I can't get on pin five. There we go. And here is pin five. Well, did that work? I have no idea. Let's see. No, it didn't work. Why didn't that work? That's supposed to work. I buy this thing to work. Eh, let's crank up the heat a little bit. There we go. And try it again. All right, five pins. Pin number one. Oh, we'll heat it up a little bit. All right, I see some smoke. Pin number two. Heat it up a little bit. Pin number three. Pin number four. And pin number five. Mm, well, hang on. Pin number three. Pin. I think all the rest of them are loose. How about pin number three? Oh, when all else fails, 
Add a little more solder. There we go, pin number three. A little more solder on pin three. There we go. A lot more solder on pin three. Now let's try it. Oh, I think that worked. I think it's loose. Let's give it a tug. Dang it. I paid a lot of money for this cool new toy. Oh, it's this one pin. It's still got a little solder on it. There you go. Beautiful. Just like I said, the best way to do this. Well, it's supposed to be the best way. I think actually if you had a lot of pins, again, like, uh, you know, something that if you were trying to desolder this, you'd never get it done with the iron. You just can't heat up that many pins and push them all out. It's impossible. Uh, you might get it done with the torch, but you risk damaging the board. Hot air re rework station, maybe, but you're likely to loosen up. You know, if this processor falls off, you are screwed. So that's not going to work. Um, if you really need to do a big long piece like this, I think this is really the way to go. Uh, it's about a hundred bucks. The S993A, I found it somewhere on eBay. No, I didn't get it for free or I don't get paid for this stuff. Um, I just thought you might want to see it. <laughs> All right, so the actual example totally failed. As I go back and think about it, I think the fastest was just using the soldering iron, which for big chip is, chips is actually the worst. And, this probably took the longest. Oh well. Make your own choices. Make your own decisions in life. Don't listen to me. Go make your own decisions just like I said to. Alright, postscript. This thing has no off switch. Like, it just stays here on. I'm going to have to unplug it when I get done. That sucks. That's awful. You at least need a power switch. I don't want to plug this thing up and unplug it all the time. I'm going to have to work something out. I need a timer for these things like my soldering iron anyway. All right, well, it's time to look at this from a scientific point of view and do what they taught you in school. You remember biology class, right? If you don't get the results that you want, keep doing the experiment until you do. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's three and a half. And there's five. <laughs> like I said, works like a charm. So remember, if you like this video, share it with your friends. And if you don't like it, share it with your enemies. And don't forget to always spend all your money on Coke and strippers.